Hey everybody, and welcome back to Craft Time with Matthew Made Art. I'm so glad you're here today because we're going to be making these awesome paper chain snakes. Check these guys out. These are one of my favorite projects when I was a kid. So I thought I'd share these with you today. I'm going to give you a, kind of a, the instructions on how I built these, but I also want you to use your creativity and I want you to make your snake your own color and your own style. If you want to make a cobra or a coral snake or whatever you want to do with your snake, I want you to make it your own. I only have three rules of crafting. And that's kindness is required, creativity is inspired, and perfection is unnecessary. All right, let's make some snakes. Today's project, we'll need glue, markers, scissors, and some construction paper. And don't forget your imagination. So the first thing we'll do is we're gonna pick out the colors we want for a snake. This one is orange and purple. This time, I think I'll do green and blue. Kind of a cool color scheme. So we'll take our two colors. The first thing we're gonna do is fold it in half. Take the two short ends, long ends this way. So we're gonna take our two short ends, fold them together like so. Like that. And then we're gonna do the same thing again. We're gonna fold it again. Like that. And then one more time, we're gonna fold it one more time. Just like so. All right, and then when we unfold it, we're gonna end up with these strips, these lines. So we're gonna cut along all these lines. We're gonna make these little links in our snake. And after we're done with this piece, we're gonna do the same thing on the next piece. So this is the long boring part. I'm just going to start with two sheets of paper and you can make your snake as big as you want by using more paper. Alright, I almost got this one stripped up. So now we got our ships there. Those are going to be little links in our snake chain. All right, we're going to do the same thing with this other color piece of paper. So we've got a long side, our short sides. We're going to throw two short sides together. And fold it. I'll put two short. Then we're going to put these two sides together again. And then one more time. Just like so. All right, and we'll fold it and cut our strips. There we go, so we got all of our strips. Okay, we're gonna start with our snake's head, like so. So we'll pick out which color we want to start with. I think I'm gonna start with green. And we're gonna glue our first loop together of many. Just gonna put a little bit of glue on there. Gonna fold this around into a little circle, like so. Shut the glue, the glue dry just a little bit. And since this is our head, I'm going to pinch this one like this, so it's got a little, older, a little bit of a point. So we kind of got like a snake's head shape here. 
And then I'm going to put some eyeballs right on top of here for his head. And I think I'm going to use yellow this time. So I got a little scrap of yellow here. I always like to use my scraps up. And I'm going to, um, I'm going to fold the paper like so. So I can cut one shape and end up with two of them. Cut some little circles for my eyes. circular. And again, doesn't have to be perfect. And you can make your eyes whatever shape you want. I think those are pretty good. So I'll take these. I'm going to take my marker. I'm going to add my pupils in there. I'm going to do, I think I'm going to use red this time. I'll draw my little pupils in there. Those will be the eyes from a snake. All right, so next thing we'll do is we'll glue those right on top of the, right up here, right above where we folded it. Grab the glue, put a little bit of glue on here. This thin layer. Put the tear right out there. I'll do the same thing with the other one. There we go, there we got our snake's eyes. They look like a fairly friendly snake so far. And so next I'm gonna cut a little tongue out here. Cause tongues like to, <laughs> tongues like to, snakes like to stick the tongue out. I'm gonna cut a little tongue, I'll put a little fork in it right at the very end. The snake's got little forked tongues. I'll we'll put a little bit of glue on the on this end of the tongue. I'm just going to glue it right under here where our fold was. So there we go. There's our snake's head. All right. So we're going to work on our snake's bodies. On these snakes, I like to do like every other color. So start with the green. I'm going to do a blue one next. I'm just going to put a little glue on there. I'll run that through there like so and now I'm going to glue this around like this to make a link in the chain. Like so. And I bet you can guess what we're going to do with the rest of these strips. We're going to do the same thing. Put a little bit of glue. And now I'm going to slip it through this one. Like so. I'll glue it right there. And you can see our snake starting to form. Alright, so we're just going to keep doing every other one. Got green, I got blue. Stick this through the last one. And you'll just keep doing this so you can use up all your all your strips. So I really have been inspired this summer by the nature I found in my own backyard. So a lot of these projects, like the owl and these snakes and some of the projects we're going to do in the future, are all inspired by animals I've seen in my own backyard. And I've seen quite a few snakes this summer in my yard. I'm going to be doing some rabbits next week and I've seen, I've seen a lot of rabbits in my yard too. I got to see owls and all kinds of things. All right, you gotta see our snake taking off there. Just keep going here. It's a fairly easy project, fairly fun. Through here. 
put on the next one. Luckily, we don't have too many dangerous snakes around where I live. Mostly just harmless snakes that like to eat the bugs. Which is nice. So it's kind of fun to see one slithering through the grass. All right. Got to our snakes get. This is fun. I'm going to keep pulling these loops around. Our snake starting to form here. We got six more loops to go. On any of these videos, if I get too far ahead of you, you can you can pause it and slow it down. Or in this case, if you want to speed it up, <laughs> you can speed through too. This was always one of my favorite projects to make when I was a little kid, so I thought I'd share this one with you. Kind of fun to turn a couple pieces of paper into a really long, cool snake. It's kind of fun to make all these links. Look at that! Look at that! Look at that! Look at them! All right, so I got a few more to go here. These make great Halloween decorations. Not quite to Halloween yet, but you can make a spooky snake for Halloween. It'd be pretty sweet. Kind of like Halloween garland or something. Alright, just down to the last few here. There you go. Last green on. Look at that. Quite an impressive snake. Alright, putting up the last one on here. And kind of like we did on the first one, once I get this on there, I like to pinch the last one too to kind of make it kind of make it pointed like the end of the snake there. So there we are, look at this guy. <laughs> All right, congratulations, you did it. You built your snake. That was fun. I sure enjoyed having you here. And I'd like to invite you back to Check out our next video here in a week when we'll be making these little bunny rabbits. Another backyard wildlife inspired craft. So hope you had a good time and if you did, if you want to share the video and comment and like and all that good stuff, we'd sure appreciate it and uh, we'll see you next time. Stay crafty.